being consistent. Just consistent, detail oriented, and just being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Suffer. You know, like my coach says, sometimes you gotta suffer. You're not suffering enough. That's what he's telling me. You're not suffering enough. You're not there yet. And that's just keep me, keep me going, you know what I mean? So a lot of people, a lot of people want want that um, that that level of, of uh, respect, but they don't want to suffer for it. They don't want to put in the work for it, you know what I mean? You know, and, and it's just it's just crazy. Like, like you know what I mean, like my brother say, you know, uh, Everybody want to walk on water, but nobody want to get out the boat. You know what I mean? Everybody's scared. You know what I mean? So, you know, and that's just how it is. You have to, you have to give something to get something. You know what I mean? So. Hey, what's going on? I'm IFBB Pro Ken Jones, uh, Houston, Texas native. Football is my athletic background. Uh, coming up, my uncle kind of bred me to play football. Uh, he was a Buffalo Bill for like seven years. Super Bowl contenders, uh, they went four times in a row. Didn't win. <laughs> um, they're still my favorite team. Uh, you know, uh, I just grew up watching them and watching him and just always wanted to be a football player. I feel like it was always in my blood to play football. I compared uh, just on a, a, mental, a mental note, basically um, pushing myself uh, just to that that limit, you know, like you said in the climate it's climate control in the gym So depending on what gym you're at, but right. <laughs> um, Climate control and you can push yourself to a certain level, but on that field it's, it's totally different You got 10 pounds and five pounds of pads on a helmet uh, in Texas, so that's a different different climate as as you know as we know um, summertime spring ball all of that is just it's just a big difference in the climate and just a whole different mindset. Your mind ha really has to be in it. It's not a game where you can just, oh, I'm just doing it just to do it. Uh, it mentally, it's just, it takes you, I mean, it just takes your mind to a place like, okay, if I did this out here in this 105 degrees, I can stay, I can, I can prolong this, this prep or prolong this, you know, these reps that I have and inside the gym, you know? So that's what it really got me to this, this point where I'm at, just the whole, even in life, you know, just being more mentally stable and uh, disciplined. Just basically, if, if I can work through the heat or through the strenuous two-a-days and these strenuous sprints and workouts, I know for sure I can make it in life and on, on you know, when things happen and I can succeed through life, you know, just on different things like that. First, I really wasn't interested in being a bodybuilder. Uh, my my uncle, like I said, he was a big role model in my life. Um, he played NFL, and then after that, he was just like, "Well, I'm gonna go into bodybuilding." So he went pro in bodybuilding, and um, he saw me, he saw a post that I posted on Facebook, and he was like, "Dude, you look great. You can do a show and win." I'm like, ah, "Uncle, I'm not doing. I'm not going on stage. I'm not trying to walk around with my shirt off and this, that, the other." He was just like, I promise you, man, you will like it. It's almost, it has a competitive edge, you know? So he was just, he sent me a diet, eat this, eat this, eat this, don't do this, don't do that. And and he bought me a ticket to fly out to Florida to do my first uh, men's physique show. Play second, my first show, I'm nationally qualified. First, I just thought it was bodybuilding was just a bunch of muscle heads. Just, you know, just me heads. Just all you think about is, you know, working out and lifting and looking at my muscles and stuff like that. I really wasn't on, I wasn't on that, you know, at the time. But then once I saw that it had a competitive edge to it that, you know, basically I'm building my body to compete against another human body just to see how much work I put in more than what he put in or how my genetics match up to this this guy's genetics and that's basically where is that me being, being having a sports background I kind of implement the sports training as well more agility uh, training 
as well. Being that I train athletes as well, so I have to stay agile. <laughs> actual movement so you know if I can't do it and I'm telling you how to do it I mean what's what's you know that's the first thing they're gonna ask. well coach can you show me you know so I have to be able to show them you know so that's why I just stay in that type of shape to where I do have flexible hips I can back pedal still I can catch on a jug machine and still do all of that stuff as well you know? <laughs> Tackling the books, you tackling your studies, you tackling your nutrition, you tackling just your playbook and everything like that. So yeah, you have to have that killer instinct in all realms of just life. The killer instinct, I would just say the will to execute. You know, just to execute on a high level. Not just execute, but on a high level to execute, you know, with detail. So that's how my cardio, my cardio is. So most of the time we do a little steady state cardio that's just walking, you know, treadmill, stairmaster. But I still have to implement uh, sprints, bike sprints, uh, box jumps, you know, the prowler, things like that into my workout. I still try to implement that in my everyday life because I mean, I'm moving, lifting weights, you know, jumping. So I still have to keep, you know, you treat your body like a sports car. So, you, I mean, you won't put 90, uh, 87 regular gas in a sports car, right? So, you know, I'm always putting premium. So basically, it's just getting my, get, getting my feet wet with um, the classic and how it works. Uh, so Tampa, which, I mean, like I said, I'm an athlete. I love the challenge. So, you know, everybody's saying, yo, that's a big show. It's going to be stacked for that to be your first show. And, you, you know, I just like the challenge. So I want to challenge my body and I want to challenge myself just to you know, see where I land at. Well, my strength training, it's just old school iron, like going after it, you know what I mean? It's, it's, strength is strength, you know what I mean? Strength training is strength training. I mean, you can train smart, but it's, it's just going after it. Pyramids, you know, um, just drop sets. It's, Strength training is strength training, so I'm, I'm old school when it comes down to strength training. You know what I mean? Uh, during the season, it's really, we're not really doing too much strength training. You know, uh, it's more maintaining and, and uh, building a little bit. But, you know, my off season, my strength training is, is crazy. Yeah, so. Right now for Tampa, I'm training more, uh, just more detail. You know what I mean? More detail oriented. I feel like the size is there. It's just now more, you know, striations and, and conditioning. And that, that, that was what I fell in love with once I considered going to Classic. It was just, okay, this is naturally how I am. Being that when I was in men's physique, I couldn't really lift like I wanted to because I was going to get too big or I couldn't carb load like I wanted to because me flat is, is uh, you know, I'm, that's big to, you know, men's physique. So now, being that I'm in classic, I can carb load how I want and still be, you know, on that competitive side. That's where it's at. Just getting out your comfort zone. I feel like if you're comfortable, I mean, it's not pushing you. You know what I mean? It's not. You're not at that at that state to risk it all. You know what I mean? And I just I like that uncomfortable feeling. <laughs>